Hi, welcome back and thanks for watching. This is Leslie Davidson with the artist as entrepreneur.com. Uh, this month I'm tackling acrylic transfers. Um, and there's two basic ways that you can apply an acrylic transfer. You can put the medium that you're going to embed the image into directly on your support or you can pour the medium onto your photocopy and let it dry and then wash it off. Okay, so I'm going to do both of these. I don't have a lot of experience with doing this, so <clears throat> this is an experiment for me as well. The first one I'm going to try is try our self-leveling gel, um, which I've used before to varnish, and it left a lot of bubbles, so I wasn't entirely happy with that situation, but it was okay. It wasn't too bad. And it's very high gloss, it's very clear, except for the bubbles, and it's self-leveling, so it will spread out and be completely level. These are photocopies. I did these originally with a Pentel brush pen, scanned them into the computer, printed them out, and then went and got them photocopied. Because it's the actual toner in it that will embed um, the image. Okay, so first things first. Um, oh, hold on. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I was about to pour this on and then realized that, oops, I don't have a way of moving these once I pour the medium onto them. So I grabbed these, just whatever you've got, cardboard, whatever, um, so that you can move them around, because I've got to move these off the desk for them to dry overnight. So make sure you've got something supportive under this so you can move it around. Okay, so self-leveling gel. Okay, obviously you can put as little or as much as you want for the thickness that you desire. Um, this will self-level, so it will spread out, but I could have uh, gotten this thinner than this if I wanted. Now I'm just going to assist it a little bit with my palette knife. And that is going to continue to spread out a little bit. But I did it with... Ooh. Okay, there's very few bubbles in this, which I'm really happy about. I don't know what I did with the stuff before to... Oh, there's more bubbles creating. Well, we'll leave it. We'll see what happens, right? It's all an experiment, and thanks to you for watching, because I'm actually doing them now. Okay, so I need to move this away for the moment. That's going to sit and dry overnight. And now this, so I've got it turned over. I'm going to pour the self-leveling gel approximately where I want this to go on the gessoed ground. This is gessoed wooden support. This is one, this is actually gessoed. If you watch the other one where I'm like, oh, it's gessoed, but it wasn't. It was a piece of mounted watercolor paper. So I'm going to spread this out a bit because I want it to definitely cover my whole image. So I'm encouraging it to spread. It's very, very slow moving. And um, I don't necessarily want it to be just a big blob. So I'm actually going to uh, smooth out and not necessarily blend in, but at least integrate this a little bit more with my, my background. Because I think personally that it might look a little strange to just have a big blob. There, now granted, I can add thicker applications of acrylic over top, but this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I want to place my image. Ooh. I 
makes me want it to be that way. I wonder if I have another. Excuse me, sir, may I have another? Oh, well. This will have to work the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down. And I'm just making sure it's covered. I'm kind of pressing a little bit to try and embed it into the clear tar gel. I'm not sure if you're supposed to wait for a little while or <laughs> what you're supposed to do with this. I've never actually seen this done. I've just heard about it. So I'm going to just lift the edge. Oh. Wow. Okay, so that didn't transfer anything at all onto there. But now I have an application on here. <laughs> hmm. All right. So, since that didn't work, let's just show you a little bit about what clear tar gel can do. I have golden fluids. Clear tar gel is really neat. So I'm going to drop a few drops in here. It's very thick and viscous. That's green gold that I just put in. And I'm going to put in a little bit of um, Hansi Yellow Light. And some turquoise. And let's see, yellow ochre. Let's do some Naples yellow. Okay, now watch this. Hmm. I need something thinner to really show you how this stuff there, we've got something going on there. There, can you see what this is doing? I have no idea what I'm making now, but this stuff is really neat. Now think about this, you could put this onto a waxed um, paper or onto a plexiglass. Hi, so after technical malfunction, this is what the clear uh, self-leveling gel looks like after I've messed around with it a bit. Um, I've added some darker color down here, played around with my, my scrolls. There's a lot of really neat detail in here that uh, you probably can't see on the video, but I'm going to scan it when I'm finished and uh, put up a pic on the website. Now I'm going to make a transfer, an acrylic transfer for this um, and I'll show you the finished result. Okay? So I'll see you back here. Okay, so this is self-leveling gel from TriArt. Um, very similar to clear tar gel uh, from Golden but I don't know what the chemical makeup is, so I don't know how similar it is. But, um, so this is put onto the photocopy, and I'm gonna spray it with some water and scrub it with my scrubby. Now, the, in comparison to the uh, clear tar gel, um, the clear tar gel uh, came off um, with some effort but I really had to scrub and there was some um, disruption of the line image. This is actually coming off easier, the self-leveling gel. So that could be exciting. Oops, lots of noise. Hmm. 
So this is coming off um, pretty easily, except there was a little bit of a um, like a wrinkle in it, and it's not coming off there well at all. I'm actually pretty impressed at how easily this one is coming off in comparison to the clear tar gel. This is coming off much, much easier and much um, similar to a gloss medium. It's coming off that easy, which is really nice. camera with my head. Okay, I'm probably going to cut this out too, so I'm not too worried about what's going on outside of the image because I'm just going to cut it off. Okay, so I really, really scrubbed this side hard and I lost some of the line image in there. So I guess it's not foolproof. You do have to be careful. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much done its first round anyway. Um, I'm going to rinse this off and let it dry and see what I have to come back and do um, to get off the rest of the paper for a fully clear image. Okay, so this is the same um, image, um, but it's with self-leveling gel and it came out actually better than the clear tar gel. So self-leveling gel was pretty good too. But still, out of all the mediums, um, gloss gel really won the match. If it was a match, anyway. So I um, used interference purple on here and some purple, a little bit of ultramarine for the shadowing. And he's going to go on there. Now, the clear tar gel was pretty dark in texture in the background, and I did some matte medium on it. I'm not going to do that with this because I want to really preserve this delicate background. I don't want to do too much on here. So I'm probably going to paint a reed through his fingers. Um, very thin. Because right now he looks like he's leaping. Okay, so in order to keep this fairly um, non-textured, I'm going to use GAC 100 and just spread it on pretty thinly. Okay, I like to varnish in a gloss, so I don't worry too much about getting a little bit of gloss um, over squish on this. Okay, so I'm going to put this, place this where I think he should go. So I'm going to have to weight him out with something 
heavier down here, but that's where the reed's coming, so there'll probably be a little cluster of, of reeds or grasses down here. That should balance him out nice. So I'm just making sure that this is all stuck down. And this should dry um, crystal clear. Okay, so that's clear tar gel. Okay, thanks for watching.